do you want to just hang out with us and, and uh, react to the Cybertruck? Ooh, let's do here? it. Because okay. I've seen it and I have Have thoughts. you? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Marcus <laughs> okay. and I specifically tried not to watch these. I mean, we've yeah. obviously seen Cybertruck. A new walk around video came out. Yeah. There's some new extra pictures, a couple things that have changed. I've seen a couple. Um, I've avoided watching the video so yeah, far. Yeah, I've seen some like But I've seen the headlines. And okay. basically what's happening is the Cybertruck was announced on stage and kind of like how you know when you see like the the concept car and then you see the final shipping car, mm -hmm. there's always mm -hmm. differences. Some are very far apart. Some of them are pretty close. Like Porsche, Mission E concept. Oh, nothing. <laughs> close. It's relatively it close. It is closer than To the think. Taycan. It looks, it looks better than they the got, Mission E. I yeah, think. they got yeah. the wheels right. They got some of the stuff. So like this is a, a, a natural expectation of Cybertruck on stage versus Cybertruck that hits the streets. On stage, we did not see mirrors, uh, what else? The 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 wheels are pretty crazy looking. Like there's oh, yeah. there's a bunch of questions about what the yeah. final Cybertruck's gonna look like. Plus a lot of talks by Elon about how they're gonna make it smaller. So should oh. we just click on the video and just watch yeah, it? Yeah, you want to we'll just see what's, what's same going time. on. What should we do? Watch it on your screen. You want to just three, two, one, and press play. Okay. Yeah. Let me <laughs> open the URL Oops, first. This I, pressed, the, I did it already. Is the YouTube one? YouTube one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the link I put. Okay, I'll top. press play in three, two, one, play. So it looks oh. like they're indoors. Okay, right off the bat, that, those that are different wheels. That is like the wheels. arachnid mm -hmm. wheels, right? Mm -hmm. They don't look like, they don't match very well. Nope. They look too small, but they look more like wheels than the concept wheels. The concept wheels almost looked like they went to like the edges. I like felt. the concept wheels. Yeah. Yeah. The wheels on the concept looked way sicker. This looks like a guy in a factory. He's got a hard hat on. He's yeah. just pointing it at a prototype. This guy got fired. Yep. Okay. So we've got, I see the cameras in the A-pillar. I see... No door handles, but I yeah. do see side view mirrors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and very oh standard my, mirrors. Look at the size of that windshield wiper. It's crazy. The, oh, okay, the windshield wiper is the one thing I saw that I am very confused about. Um, Holy smokes! It's just a singular windshield wiper. They're going along like the front of the truck now. It's very flat. I, honestly, from the front, I kind of dig it. I've never been a huge fan of this truck. Just I to think, say, I think if you look at a truck, they sort of they built the bottom third of the bumper out to be like plastic, so it's not like steel. All yeah, the way to the yeah. bottom. It's got like a bumper bumper and then it's the like steel or whatever. Yeah. That's probably front, a safety related front, thing. Yeah, quote unquote grill or grill area. Bumper. Yeah. It's still such a triangle though. It's yeah, very. The, the, it's kind of strange because the window looks almost like seamless up to the front like quarter. Okay. This windshield wiper looks like it's like five feet long and it's one <laughs> singular. The amount of torque coming out of the like motor it's of this thing wiper. probably is like a Nissan Leaf motor. Like that's how much power it probably needs. <laughs> that's a needs. serious windshield wiper. I wow. Nissan Leaf. Shade. very interested in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to take that much to move it. Okay. So I've seen a bunch of different windshield wiper, uh, versions like mm -hmm. you, you see like two that come how do i do this two from one side that wipe <laughs> yeah, next to each yeah. other or you'll see like overlapping mm -hmm. windshield wipers or you'll see the bus ones that go next to each other yeah, yeah, yeah. whenever you have one huge windshield wiper on the shape of a normal windshield you're missing part of it so if yeah. this is on the driver's side like the passenger is just not going to get very yeah much. that's not that big of a deal if you're driving i guess yeah. um but like a lot of times you'll see one big one and then like one small one to kind of like yeah. pick up yeah, the kind of not into that um, but wow. this one giant one seems also, does it, was it defaulted as like up? Did you notice that? Yeah. It's just at the side of the it windshield. It starts at oh, the side rather than starting at the notice. bottom. Huh. Huh. Yeah. I that's, don't know. It must take so much force to pull that back up while it's scraping <laughs> across the windshield. I mean, I know it's not like a ton of friction, but it, it literally needs friction in order to work. Oh, he's going, it looks like the back on the back truck. There's a couple, uh, places for like ratchet straps or being able to tie stuff down to the back of the trunk. I think Question that might have been you. a button for the cover. Really? The tonneau or whatever it's called. Oh. From the oh, the car. Uh, okay. truck. Yeah, yeah. Is are the tires small or is the car big? Yes. <laughs> Definitely both. Uh the Cybertruck is massive. Yeah. So I think these are pretty big wheels, but okay. compared to the size of the Cybertruck, they're not very big, as you can uh, tell. I'm going to pause just because he's done a full 360 yeah. around. We've gone all the way around it. Yeah. There's still no door handles, I've noticed. I don't know. Yeah, I, did you see Elon's response to that? What? No. He said, oh, what? Did, sorry, now I need to, <laughs> because it was a, it was a very similar to along the lines of like all human input is error. Uh, of course. Oh, you know what this also reminds me of? There was a, a bit of a more complete, roadster looking thing floating mm. around. I think it also had a giant windshield wiper or two. Really? I think they also had to do something about the mirrors. And I remember when we saw the roadster prototype, and this is still very prototypey because there's no roadsters out. 
uh, you could slide your finger down on the A pillar and it would unlock the door and pop it open. What? It seems like it would fail all the time, <laughs> right? Because we have we've had the Mach E here before, uh-huh. which doesn't have a real handle, but it's got this little scoop thing in, and you can sort of touch that, and it pops the door open oh, two yeah. inches, and then you pull it out. Um, Cybertruck seems like a ruggedized vehicle you'd want like manual handles mm-hmm. on, but it doesn't have any handles in this video. They're really sticking to it. Yeah, there's still no handles. I yeah. So wait, how would you? Does it just sense when you're walking? I think close that's to what the car it is. And it pops it open when you come up. It's supposed to open for you. But what if you're just like passing your car? This is a Model X issue. <laughs> if you walk up to the Model X with the key in your pocket, it can you can set the setting for it to auto open the doors. Uh-huh. So you walk up to the actually no, that's not true. You have to hit the button. You okay. have to hit some side of the car thing. So on the Model X, you walk up to it. As you get close to it, it unlocks. Then you press mm. the handle, and it automatically opens the door all the way. You get in, you put your foot on the brake, and it closes the door all the way. That's cool. So that's cool when it works. Yeah, uh, it guess. breaks all the time. But <laughs> on model and on the Cybertruck, it seems like they want to do this like touch interface it on the says, side of the car. So he said, okay. um, in the end, we kept production design almost exactly the same as the show car, minus those giant mirrors and but yeah. whatever. Just some small tweaks here and there to make it slightly better. No door handles. Car recognizes you and opens the door. Having all four wheels steer is amazing for nimble handling and tight turns. Oh, four wheel steering is cool. Yeah, okay. it is cool. But but the car is going to recognize you and, and open, open the door. door. Well, Could you unlock imagine? Unlock or open? It said, this says car recognizes you and opens door. Right. Imagine that door swinging open into <laughs> a huge a, steel a door. Toddler or another car <laughs> or into traffic. I mean, no, at least if you hit a shopping cart, it's not damaging the door. It's just launching the shopping cart probably yeah. across the parking lot. I don't know why the visual of a toddler being flung across the floor. Dude, it's, that's uh, terrible. I worked at a restaurant once, and, and a kid walked in front of the kitchen door and got slammed pretty hard. And I can only imagine that with the Cybertruck door. But not this ideal. Is, <laughs> this is pretty wild speculation on how hard it opens. I'm assuming yeah. they have some sort of camera. Because it opens soft. Yeah. Doesn't um, Model X have something like that where it's side doors that come yeah. up? It like can judge how far a car is away it's from it. It's got Falcon doors and it's got cameras, but also ultrasonic sensors. So if it can tell that it's going to have to open a certain amount out, it'll actually change the path of the door opening oh, so it doesn't wow. hit yeah. anything. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think Elon's tweet of saying the car recognizes you might be like a fancy way of saying like your phone is your key and when you get mm, close to it, it it'll know it's you. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to have a camera looking and identifying people on the street being like, oh, it's me, yeah. your yeah. owner, and then you open the door. I don't think it's that crazy. But yeah, I you know, door handles are useful. That'll, yeah, be, a, that'll would, be a pretty tough one. I would like door handles. The side mirrors on this still feel very prototype. It feels like mm. they know they have to add them, but they just kind of added whatever on um, it doesn't yeah. feel like it fits with the rest of it. So we've had a couple uh, things about door handles. Number one, it to me looks kind of like F one fifty mirrors, like they're just basic oh, mirrors. That's I was exactly like, this what does I was not say. look like an F. Yeah, yeah, yeah the mirrors just, like, just look like a standard truck. Yeah, mirror. basic truck mirrors. Mm-hmm. The other thing is, uh, I asked Elon about the mirrors not being on the Roadster, and he said this about Cybertruck as well, which is like, okay, by law we have to install them, but you don't have to have them when you're driving. The law is about manufacturing, not about driving on the road. So they can mm-hmm. make very easy to remove mirrors and actually add like cameras and the solution they actually want you to use in the car, but include the mirrors just for shipping. So you get the car and if you want to remove the mirrors, you could just pop them off and use the cameras. Theoretically, yeah. Huh. So that's that's what he said about Roadster to me. That's what he's implied about Cybertruck to many others. Neither of these vehicles ship. I don't know that yeah. any other car does that, that right now. That was also years ago he said that, right? Right. Yeah. And I think that's still the rule, but like I've never seen a vehicle ship without well, mm. in the US without mirrors. There yeah. are some there are some that ship with cameras where the mirrors were, but that's not in the US. Mm. So again, that windshield wiper is really throwing me off. It's huge. Like if you're in the passenger seat and you're driving through somewhere scenic, you're just not gonna see anything. Yeah. Oh, like if it doesn't I mean, I think that reach Yeah, it, you can kind of see the where it yeah. wouldn't hit. Um Unless does it just come to all the way across? Like, does it stay vertical? <laughs> that's just, like a printer. That would be yeah. hilarious if it was just like a printer and one side to side. Yeah. I almost if feel like that company, would work better. If, every, if any company would over-engineer the heck yep. out of a windshield wiper, it's Tesla with the Cybertruck. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of innovation I want to see. <laughs> yeah, I want a sliding printer-like windshield wiper. Um, final thoughts on this? Uh, it looks. It still looks like a Cybertruck to me. I think on the scale of like concept cars versus final shipping cars if Uh i give the one on stage 
uh, a concept car view versus the one we're seeing now turns out to be what ships. This is actually relatively close to what they yeah. originally showed. That being said, it still looks like a Cybertruck. It still looks crazy. It's going to be a sight on the road. It's going to be a presence on the streets, and it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a Cybertruck. It's crazy. Insane. Yeah. I I don't really like it. I prefer, out of the whole concept car versus this car that's out now, I much preferred the concept car just because it looked cohesive, even if it's not the final version. Like, this just does not look cohesive. It looks like they copy-pasted the top of the concept car and pasted it onto a Ford F-150 or something. I think they changed the tires on the final by this. I feel like yeah, this is, smaller. I think they're going to make some sort of rim to go with Cybertruck. Because this looks like, those are just arachnids, aren't they? Or what are those new? They're probably bigger than normal, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think they're going to make some sort of wheels. I'm sure they'll make some, something with some sort of aero cap on it that will probably look, uh, the concept one had kind of like an aero cap feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'm. This is cool, I guess. It's different. It's like gigantic, Do which I really mm -hmm. think everyone underestimates driving. Mm -hmm. I can't um, wait to see it in person. Basically. I yeah. can't wait to see it. I'm going to be terrified when these and the Hummer EVs are on the road. Like, mm -hmm. There's going to be way more of these than the Hummer EV, according to pre-orders. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Be a lot of these. I think there's going to be... A, I'm far more excited about like the Rivian over this for you, in a personal aspect. The Rivian also has this. How do you feel about the bar headlight? I dig it. Because I mean... I don't dig this whole design, but I like a bar headlight. <laughs> the bar headlight. When I'm driving in front of a car with bar headlights, it's a mixed feelings experience, but I think they look sick. I love a bar tail light. Always yeah, have. Yeah, it's hard right now because like not many are doing the standard bar headlights, so a lot of bar headlights you could see are aftermarket where people are like Oh yeah. People put like and, yeah. on their roof, they'll put a bar yeah, and or that's whatever. way brighter and then it just yeah. sucks driving. And then it's yeah. at the wrong height. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm decently into the design. Originally, I did a video on why we're getting a Cybertruck because yeah. we uh, we wanted to get one as a camera car because all the stuff we've shot, we've shot a bunch of camera uh, uh, car videos in the past and we found like, okay, we've shot out the side of a minivan. It's kind of convenient to have the sliding doors. We've mm -hmm. shot out the back of a pickup truck. That's cool. You can hang the Movi out at different angles and stuff like that. By Movi, you mean Brandon? Both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Brandon's the arm holding yeah, the movie. It's yeah. a stabilizer. Um, and to us, it was like, oh, Cybertruck is kind of the best of all of the worlds. You can have somebody hanging out the side. You can put somebody in the bed. It's going to be silent. It's going to be just as fast as any car we want. Mm. But we've, we've actually uh, worked on a much better solution very recently. And now it's, it's back to just being like, we have one on order. I can't <laughs> wait to shoot this with that. Oh, for yeah. audio listeners, what? the yeah. cyber truck with what we just hooked up. Oh in. yeah. <laughs> what um spec did you get on it? So the triple motor. Okay. Just because we presume those will ship first. Okay. What was the one? There was a cheaper version, right? That now people don't think is going to come out. There was going to be a dual motor and a single motor. Okay. And I think the pres the speculation is that they're going to cancel the single motor, yeah, or it'll be yeah. a very late shipper that eventually gets canceled. I bet it gets canceled motor. completely. Yeah. So the highest performance, most expensive ones will ship first. I also would guess that most people who ordered a Cybertruck just went to the top. Uh, not most people. I think a lot of people who ordered a Cybertruck went to the top, and that gave them incentive to just convert or switch switch the order and just ship those mm. first. Yeah. I, so I wonder, like, in terms of going to the top, it's increasing, like, your your towing capacity or, like, torque and stuff like that because how much – and range, I guess, right? And range, yeah. Okay, because, like, I think most people, when it comes to, like, pickup trucks now, they're going to the top because they want the more – it's it's an interior thing that really changes when you're like on an F one fifty and you're going the from trim. like the I think it's like the Lariat to the like whatever King Ranch or something like that. You're getting like some crazy interior and then like because yeah. you're like living in your truck pretty much. These will all be the same. Yeah, these will be. You get a yoke. They all have a yoke. They all have that like that weird. Sounds like so much fun for towing things when you have to like <laughs> really be specific about yeah, turning a lot of yeah. around. And towing. That. Uh, they have that weird marble countertop thing. They've oh, I got about that. yeah. <laughs> they've they've got two rows of seats. They've got the three in the front, three in the back thing happening. Oh. And although the middle is like an armrest that folds down, bench front seat. Yeah, it's been a while since that's been a thing. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember shooting this video and like looking at this. this it's just a countertop with a yoke and like a center screen, like a Model Three to center screen, but bigger. Huh. So yeah, they'll all have the same trim. But yeah, interior. Yeah, yeah. If you go for the highest end version, you get yeah towing capacity, range, and a faster zero to sixty. 
yeah, yeah. faster. What everyone so what's the fa- what is the faster? Let's see. The Cybertruck. Think of how many motor. more estimates you can make at your blue collar <laughs> job with your truck if you can go zero to 60, <laughs> destroying anything in your path. Get to the next job site <laughs> yeah, real destroying quick. Destroying everything. <laughs> 2.9 seconds. Oh, my God. The triple motor Cybertruck is... At least the Rivian quoted. is three, right? The Rivian is three flat. It's yeah. it's absurdly That's fast. Crazy. Yeah, I mean they give us a horsepower number. The Rivian is quad motor, eight hundred plus horsepower. It's a fast truck. Yeah, it's smaller uh, too. So that it makes... is small and nimble. Mm. The Cybertruck is going to be big. Elon says nimble, but like you know, even with four wheel steering, like, it's <laughs> yeah. a big yeah. truck. Yeah, but yeah, it can be nimble for its size. But when you're that size, it's, it's hard size. to be nimble. Yeah, yeah. Model so. three is like what four something, four point something. They get into the threes, threes yeah, with the oh, performance wow. models. Yeah, okay, yeah. So this yeah. is faster than that. Twice the weight, <laughs> just as fast. That's insane. It'll be interesting. Ah, uh, seeing it on the street, man. These I'm are terrified. dangerous. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. I'm gonna walk to work from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the Clips Channel. Wouldn't, we wouldn't be here without you. Um, but if you want this to magically turn gold, press that subscribe button. I see what think, you did there. I think the like button helps too, right? Just test yeah. test it out for me. Let me know in the comments. It's one it of those buttons down there. It's definitely one of them. Yeah. The dislike button. Could, uh, oh, wait. That one doesn't do we anything. We wouldn't know. Well, we would know. You wouldn't know. <laughs> we <Yeah>. would know. <laughs> Thanks. Click it. <laughs>